In the capital region, the rush was on again today to take advantage of low gas prices. At one point, prices were just over a dollar a litre in Victoria. And drivers here wasted no time in taking advantage of the lowest prices in the country. But as Aaron Esler explains, the fluctuation in prices has people wondering what's going on. Oh, it's a good day to fill up. It was car after car lining up to take advantage of one of the lowest gas prices on the South Island. Yeah, yeah it's sure, wild, right? eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's for sure. for sure. It's like out, out in Souk, it's 119, and here it is 101. So, I mean, I, I don't know what's going on here. And with a gas guzzler like this, you gotta, you know, if you can save 17 cents or 18 cents, might as well. Prices have been falling drastically over the past few days. Last night, drivers could get a regular tank of gas for 103.9. And today, morning commuters saw the price drop two more cents to 101.9 cents a litre. But as some celebrate saving their hard-earned cash at the pumps, many remain frustrated and confused. Well, I saw the sign this morning at dollar three, a dollar two. I was uh, I pulled into the pumps, uh, filled up with gas, and halfway through the, the fill-up, I noticed it was 119.9. So it's quite a jump. I, I don't know why. And Gary's not alone. This courier driver says gas prices are making it impossible to budget for transportation costs. How can you base your expenses on uh, gasoline prices that are fluctuating so badly? Because gasoline is the major expense of what we do. And the uncertainty is the same for regular consumers. You never know what you're going to pay for gas from one day to the next. And for people that are on limited incomes, it's just it's ridiculous. I'm putting in more than I usually would probably because it's lower. You know, if, if I were in a hurry and the pr prices were high, I might just put in $20 and then wait a day, a couple of days and see. It's but sort of like going to Reno and gambling, you know. It may go up, it may go down, so you have to take advantage of it when, when the price is right. For now, most drivers are just happy to see lower prices. People are certainly talking about the gas prices today, and that brings us to our checkpoint question tonight. How is the fluctuation in gas prices changing the way you drive and fill up? You can tweet us at check underscore news on Facebook, you can, or you can email us at checkpoint at checknews.ca. Here's what some of you had to say. You're going to pay anyways. The, the big guys are controlling the prices, and uh, that's just the way it is. It's a, it's a fact of life. They're going to go up, they're going to go down. Right? It really has more to do with the economy, and that affects all kinds of different prices. Right. You know, it affects uh, you know, how much you pay for groceries, it affects what you pay for all kinds of different consumer goods. Uh, I felt like it, it was going to drop some more. Felt filled up at 103. Right. So this morning felt like, oh, missed the jackpot. <laughs>